there are many exception classes which are directly or indirectly derived from the system.exception class to handle exceptions that are raised during runtime. If any user-defined application requires its own exception, it should inherit the exception from the application exception class. c -sharp provides error handling in the form of try and catch block. You can also use the finally block to handle errors. Let us take an example of an exception raised when a number is divided by zero. This throws a divide by zero exception. It is a runtime error. The default exception handler is invoked, and it displays an error message. The try statement guards statements that may throw an exception. If an exception occurs within the try block, an exception handler handles the exception. A try block must have at least one catch block. There can be more than one catch block associated with a try block. The catch block takes an object of the exception class as a parameter, which refers to the raised exception. When an exception is caught, the statement within the respective catch block gets executed. The finally block is used to execute a given set of statements whether or not an exception is raised. So here, the try block covers the expression that divides by zero. This raises a divide by zero expression caught by the first catch statement. We have only one catch statement here. The statement in the catch block prints the message onto the screen. Now the finally block has the result statement that is published, whether or not an exception is raised. So we are calling the function divide with parameters 10 and 0 through an object 0 of class div. Now let's compile the program by pressing F6. There, no errors and the build succeeded. Now run the program by pressing F5. You can see that the error message appeared, attempt to divide by 0, and the result is 0. Now let's change the second parameter to any number, say 2. Now let's compile the program and execute it. Notice that there is no exception raised or any error message. It displays only the result. Since there is no exception raised, the catch block is not executed. Note that there can be only one finally block for a try statement, and it is not mandatory to have a finally block.